I'm going to ask you a couple of sports questions because sure. I know people like that stuff. Why do you hate Dallas so much? They're fans. Most disgusting, nauseating fan base in American history. No matter, they could, they, they could pass gas, they call it perfume. They could spit in your face, they'll say it's raining. They can go 3-13 and 13 and they'll go like this. No, we're going to win the Super Bowl next year, right? This is what they do. They never take a moment to smell themselves. They're always the champions, even when they suck. Should Dallas have brought back Mike McCarthy as head coach? No. They should have hired no. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Does Bill Belichick have something to prove? Yes. Winning without Tom Brady. He's got to win without Tom Brady. That's he doesn't have to because he's a six-time champion, but it would do a lot for his reputation. But here's the reason why. He pushed the exodus of Tom Brady. He said Tom Brady can't play anymore. We need to move on. And then Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay and won the Super Bowl. That is That's the right. unforgivable sin. He pushed out the golden boy. If Tom Brady had retired... Bill Belichick's reputation would be intact. The fact that he pushed Tom Brady out the door is what the problem is. Is there too much football on TV? No. We never get enough football because there's only 17 games in a regular season before the playoffs begin. And the National Football League has done an absolutely exceptional job of marketing itself as an event. It could be week five or six of the NFL season and it could cost you a playoff berth a particular loss to a particular team and stuff like that. Every week matters. NBA, 82 games. NHL, 82 games. Major League Baseball, 162 games. There's a lot of action, so there's plenty of time in a season where even though it matters, it doesn't matter as much. The Lakers are three games under 500, hypothetically, but you know what? We still got January, February, March, and April. We'll be just fine. You know, you don't get to do that in the NFL. Do you predict what's going to happen in football now that we're down to yes. the wire? I think San Francisco is going to find a way to squeeze it out against a Detroit team that is fully capable of beating them. But I think it's going to be the Baltimore Ravens if Debo Samuel, because the, the San Francisco's got Debo Samuel hurt his shoulders. If he doesn't play, Detroit beats San Francisco. If he does play, San Francisco beats Detroit. They meet the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl. And I believe Lamar Jackson is going to win his first Super Bowl championship. 